Sa medicine, meron tayong mga normal intervals na tinatawag, say the person's blood pressure. And the normal range of systolic blood pressure is 110 to 140. And by measuring this variable, a physician can determine kung nasa normal interval ba ang vital statistics ng isang tao or kung merong treatment na kailangan to correct the condition and to avoid future illness. The question then is, how does one determine the so-called normal intervals? Researchers determine normal intervals for specific medical tests by using a normal distribution. And what do we mean by a normal distribution? So when the data values are evenly distributed about the mean, so in this case, the mean, the median, and the mode are all equal, then distribution is called a normal distribution. At minsan ang tawag sa kanya ay symmetric distribution. Symmetric kasi itong part na ito, kung titignan mo yung shape na ito, ay eksaktong-eksaktong kamuka nung shape na nandirito. Okay, so symmetric distribution ang tawag natin dyan. Or normal distribution. That the mean, the median, and the mode are all equal. But when the majority of the data falls either to the left or to the right of the mean, then the distribution is said to be skewed. At meron tayong dalawang klase nun. So we have here the negatively skewed distribution and a positively skewed distribution. So anong pinagkaiba? So kapag negatively skewed distribution, yung majority ng data values ay nasa right side ng mean. So if you look at this, ito yung mean. And majority of the data, makikita naman dito, no? Majority because of this itong parang pa-mountain-like na itsura. So, ibig sabihin yung majority of the data values nandito dito nagko-concentrate. So, if that's the case, ang tawag natin sa ganyan distribution ay negatively skewed. Kandaan, if the majority of the data no, are found or fall to the right of the mean, ito yung mean, nandito dito sa right side niya, negatively skewed distribution yun. Para mas madaling matandaan, tignan mo lang yung tail. Dito lang tayo titingin sa tail. Mapapansin mo that the tail of this distribution ay nasa left. Yung, yung mas mahabang tail niya ay nasa left. Kaya negatively skewed distribution ito. Otherwise, positively skewed naman siya. Ano ibig sabihin? If the majority of the data falls to the left, no? Papansin mo ito yung mean and majority of the data nasa left side ng mean. Tulad dito, dito nag-concentrate. Then, positively skewed yung itsura nun. Okay? Positively skewed yung distribution natin. And, if you look at the tail, tulad nga na sinabi ko, it indicates no, the skewness. If you look at the long, uh, the tail, yung mas mahabang tail ay nasa right side. So, that means, ang distribution ay positively skewed. Okay? So, yun lang yung dapat nating tandaan, no? Yung tails nila para malaman kung negatively skewed or positively skewed kapag hindi siya normal or symmetric distribution. Now that we have a picture kung ano ba itsura ng isang normal distribution, define natin properly. So, a normal distribution is a continuous, symmetric, bell-shaped distribution of a variable. Okay? And yung ating normal distribution ay iba-iba ng shapes yan. Okay, depending okay, sa kanilang parameters na mean and standard deviation. Like in the first example. As you can see on the graph, they have the same means. Okay, but with different standard deviations. And take note, when we talk about the standard deviations, it measures the spread of the distribution. Kung gaano ka wide. Siyempre, mas wider yung graph. Tulad ni curve 1, ibig sabihin, mas kalat yung scores. Okay? And, pag ganun, that means na mas mataas yung standard deviation niya. Kaya ako ikukumpara natin yung standard deviation ni green, nung curve na green, at yung curve na white, we can see that the standard deviation of the first curve is greater than the standard deviation of the second curve. Another example is that, pwede namang magkaiba sila ng means, but they have the same standard deviations, like in the second example. Okay, and the last case, pwede namang magkaiba sila ng means, different means, and of course, different din yung kanilang standard deviation. So, ito yung mga iba't ibang klase ng shapes ng isang normal distribution. 
So, what are the different characteristics of a normal distribution? The first one is that a normal distribution curve is bell-shaped. The mean, the median, and the mode are all equal and are located at the center of the distribution. A normal distribution curve is unimodal, meaning it has only one mode, and that is the same as the mean and the median. The curve is symmetric about the mean. This is equivalent to saying that its shape is the same on both sides of a vertical line passing through the center. Okay, so it's like itong part na ito ay kamukhang kamukha ng part na ito. Oh, that's the meaning of symmetric. Next is that the curve is continuous. That is, there are no gaps or holes. And that for each value of x, there is a corresponding value of y. The curve never touches the x-axis. Theoretically, no matter how far in either direction the curve extends, okay, hindi niya pa rin mamimit si x-axis. Although, papalapit ng papalapit, pero hindi sila magtatagpo. The total area is equal to 1 or 100%. As you can see, when you add all these areas, of course, hindi yan 100% pag in mo to. But, you know, ito may part pa to dito, may part pa to dito, and this is about 0.14 on both sides, okay? And since, you know, the curve is continuous and never touches the x-axis, theoretically, we have to remember that the total area Okay, of this normal distribution curve is equal to 100%. But it can be proved mathematically by using calculus. And the last, of course, is that the area under the part of a normal curve, okay, within one standard deviation is approximately or about 68%. If you look at this, this is the mean, and this is mean plus one standard deviation, and then this is mean minus 1 standard deviation. So the area okay, that lies within 1 standard deviation of the mean is about 68%. Within 2 standard deviations, that's about 95%. And then within 3 standard deviations, that is about 99.7%. Now, we have to remember these properties in order to solve problems involving distributions that are approximately normal. Okay, but since we know that normal distributed variable has its own mean and standard deviation, as what I have mentioned earlier, the shape and location of these curves will vary. Kaya nga in practical application, you would have to have a table Okay, of areas under the curve for each variable. Pero, mahirap gawin yon. That is why, to simplify the situation, is statistician use the so-called standard normal distribution. So, ano nga ba yung standard normal distribution? It is, of course, a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. If you look at this, we can see the C-score, okay, your C-value, makikita natin, it actually tells you how many standard deviation, okay, a particular value or X is away from the mean. So, in this case, ito yung mean natin is 0. So, itong nandito sa part na to is 1 standard deviation away from the mean. And then, yung mga nandito sa part na to is about 2 standard deviation about the mean and so on. So, why is it that the standard normal distribution is important is in a statistical analysis? It is because many variables are normally distributed and the distribution can be used to describe these variables. I hope that you learn the basic properties of a normal distribution curve. Thank you for watching.